everybody, and welcome to the next episode of the Wayward Lasses All the Things Podcast. I'm your host today, Brittany, joined by my mother, Amy. Hello, guys. And my sister, Courtney. <laughs> Hello, sister. <laughs> Hello, sister. Hello, sister. All right, guys. So we figured we would do a check-in with you. It's been a while since we've checked in. But before we tell you what's been going on with our lives, we're going to do some trivia. And per Trustin's request, we are going to be doing some geography trivia. Ladies, are you ready? Ready. I hope it's something like what state looks like a fish or something like that. Where is California? I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's go. What is the name of the tallest mountain in the world? Fuji. Mount Fuji? Not Mount Everest? That's not oh, the tallest one. Everest. Everest is the correct Everest. answer. Oh, yes. I, retra- I retracted. I retract my statement. <laughs> oh, Which I- country has the largest population in the world? China. China. Correct. What are the names of the seven continents? Oh, you guys know this song. Europe, Asia, what? Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Greenland? Australia. Didn't I say? Australia. Didn't I say Australia? Uh, did you Europe, say England? Asia, Africa. Did you say <laughs> <laughs> Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, North America, South America? Africa? I said that. Europe, Asia, Africa. Australia, Antarctica, South America, North America, South America, 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 Antarctica, Australia, Europe, Asia, Africa. Okay, I was running out of fingers. Okay, what are the names of the five oceans of the world? Oceans. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian. Atlantic. Did you say that? (laughs) That was the first one you said. Uh, Atlantic, Pacific, Ocean. Indian Ocean. With the sea, with the sea, hey. at the sea. <laughs> I know all the seas. Oh, There's two more? The only There's way. five oceans? Wait, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's the right uh, They're cold, maybe? Really cold? Arctic Ocean? And? The South Arctic Ocean? Antarctic Ocean. <laughs> Antarctic Ocean. <laughs> there you go. What is the name of the longest river in Africa? The Nile. Titicaca. The Nile is correct. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) What American city is the Golden Gate Bridge located in? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. (laughs) Uh, Okay, here we go. Um... Which U.S. state is home to no documented poisonous snakes? What's well, a very oddly phrased question. One more time. Which U.S. state is not home? Is the home? Is the home to no documented poisonous snakes? Is the home of a place where there There's are no, no snakes. poisonous snakes in this U.S. state? <laughs> oh, uh, Alaska, uh, Montana. Alaska is correct. Oh, Alaska, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What is the capital of Canada? Quebec? Montreal? No, it's not Montreal. Ottawa. Ottawa! Na, na, uh. <laughs> Yeah. It's from, um, uh, there was a Nickelodeon TV show where they sang Camp Ottawa. Okay. Camp Ottawa? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the name of it, though. Bug Juice? Something like that. Okay. Where are the Great Pyramids of Giza located? Egypt. Egypt? Egypt is correct. So where all the pyramids are located? <laughs> There are other pyramid-like structures in other countries. Oh, right. They were all built by aliens. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, what is the name of the smallest country in the world? The Vatican City. That's that is country. correct. Yeah. yeah. That oh, is correct. That is correct. I was going to go for Peter's. Remember Peter's when he made his own country? Oh, 
Utopia. <laughs> what is it called? Peteropia. Peteropia, something. <laughs> All right, we'll do a couple more. What planet is closest to Earth? You should get this from previous trivia we've done. Venus? Didn't you say, like, yeah. Venus. Venus. Venus is correct. Yes. Ooh, here we go. How many countries are in the United Kingdom? A lot. Um, UK. Wait. England? I don't know. She's going to count this one. Europe? Europe. England? <laughs> England? Um, um, Europe. <laughs> Ireland? Sweden? Scotland? Is Scotland part of the UK? Scotland? It doesn't tell me how, which ones they are, but they are four. Oh, look, I, I have my hands. It's four. One. Can you look at what they are? No, at the moment. England. Can we oh. ask Siri? Hey, Siri. Countries. Oh, trust him. Hey, I Siri, hope what four them. countries make up the United Kingdom? England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. All right. Ah, uh, not Ireland. Northern mm-hmm. Ireland. Okay. Yep. Okay. Here is the last one. Let's see here. In which ocean is the Bermuda Triangle located? <laughs> well, you named five of them earlier. Pacific. Pick one. Mom says Pacific. Sure. Sounds good. It is the Atlantic. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, good job, guys. Oh, you guys did pretty good on trivia. Trusted. Mom, this was your, uh, your strong suit here. There you go. I'll have to do more... More geography. <laughs> geography. Geography. Mom's not down with the pop culture, but she's down yeah, with the, I'm not. the world. <laughs> the world. Yes, very good. I'm well traveled. All right, guys. We are going to hop into today's episode. We're going to play catch up. Uh, tell you about what's been going on in our lives since the last time we had a little catch up with you. And that's about that. Does anybody want to share something? Are we just doing highlights or are we doing the good, the bad, the ugly? We can yeah. do that too. The not good, sure. the bad, the ugly. I'm just curious. Not that there's good. I'll, bad, I'll start with the good. Oh. We, you know, we go visit our house every week, and we were there this past weekend. They have the ductwork going up for the house for the HVAC system, mm. and I spoke with, uh, I guess, the guy who's in charge of all the construction, and he said, um, once the roughing is done, which is they're part, partly through the roughing, the sheetrock will go up, and he said, once the sheetrock goes up, we are two to three months out from moving in, so we're right on schedule. Very nice. To be in by December. Very nice. Beautiful. You're moving along quite nicely. Much faster. Yes, we did we did learn that the landing zone for like commercial flights goes right over the house. Of course. (laughs) Yeah. It's okay. And there's like no backyard, but it's a house coming along it's great the house and it's yours well we'll be it's ours yes well, that's okay to be proud of it is an accomplishment very excited everybody needs to come visit if i know who you are <laughs> <laughs> that little so we come to, i listen to your podcast you said come visit you said come over <laughs> all right who's next go ahead ma my brain's trying to catch up okay so since last week Announcing the 50 mile run for research challenge. Just letting you guys know, uh, I have run, ran, I ran over 10 miles so far. Um, and believe it or not, exceeded the amount that I had targeted as far as raising. Raised so far $500, guys. Woo-hoo. So thank you so much for contributing to this wonderful cause. I was the first to donate. You were the first to donate. I have not yet donated. <laughs> <laughs> I donated I as well. <laughs> I thoroughly intend. I will. Oh, if- and just just to, just because we exceeded and met our goal does not mean I'm stopping there. So please, please continue to donate if you have the means to do so. Excellent. Now, are you still accepting donations of miles? Because I got about like four or five to give you. Yeah, but the strange thing is I tried to log in my miles, and um, it said it hasn't started yet. So I changed the start date to August 1st. Oh, that's, that's right. You said it was starting August 1st. Yeah. All these 10 miles don't count? 
Nope. Just prep practice. Pra- practice. Well, practice. I don't know. I think you should protest. I know, right? I can cheat. <laughs> Except they're all, but how many listeners? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Court. Um, so I am just going to tell you about my day because I had a very fun day. <laughs> so I don't have curtains or blinds in the downstairs part of my house. And at night, normally we sit on the couch and watch TV and then we just go upstairs. But Mama is visiting and she walks around at night. And I caught her yesterday just walking around in the dark. And I was like, turn the light on. No, I don't want everyone to see me. Who's everyone? Who's going to see you? She's like, I don't know if there's people out there. And I was like, well, my neighbor here doesn't. She's not going to see you. She sleeps on the other side. There's nobody behind me. This one, there's no way this way. You know, I've got blinds up on this. uh, In her room, I put blinds up. So I was like, you're fine. No, it's okay. So she's walking around in the dark because she doesn't want the people to see her. So I went today to get blinds. And then I went and I got curtains for whatever, for the back window. And I went to go install them. Have you guys ever installed curtains before? Well, you're going to screw the rods in. Have you ever screwed rods in before? Long time ago. (laughs) Did you find the stud? I just Googled a whole bunch of stuff. But... (laughs) Uh, it w- uh, there might be extra holes in my walls right now, and David isn't <laughs> home. So this is the test right here of whether or not he actually listens to our podcast, because I'm confessing that there are <laughs> holes in my walls, and I'm not going to tell him. So <laughs> for you guys, if he never knows, it means he's never listened to the podcast. There you go. <laughs> All right. A secret between us. Yeah, so I had to drill listeners. holes into the wall first and then put the screws in and the things were falling and the, it was a hot mess. But So you screwed you didn't screw it into a stud. Um I did, but you have to first make like a pilot hole. You can't just so you have to take a drill bit and you have to find the stud. You know, it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be a stud. If you don't do the stud, you need like a, a wall anchor. Yeah, molly. And so well who? A molly, so it's pushes it in and then kind of just screw it in if there's nothing to hold it you like push it in and then as it comes back out it's like a a guy claw i I, yeah yeah so uh for for the blinds i did good but (laughs) i had to drill the pilot hole and i may or may not have snapped a drill bit in two i don't know how i did it i'm not confirming or denying that i did or didn't do it but if i did do it i don't know how i did it so (laughs) It's broken. Um, and then, yeah, wow. it, it was a whole mess. So whatever. There's some extra holes in my wall. There's sheetrock everywhere. But the bottom <laughs> line is I got it done. It's done. Yeah. Good for you, girl. High five. And if, if yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's more that I have to hang, and I will be waiting for him to come home. because. <laughs> yeah. So I'm the was- same. I've tried. <laughs> when I try to do things like that on my own, I always end up messing it up. I could build furniture like nobody's business. You give me, I, I can follow directions. I can build furniture. Um, I haven't tried painting yet, but I feel pretty confident that I could do it. I don't know why. I just feel like I, it just makes sense in my brain, like how to do it. You know what I mean? It's in your blood. It's in my blood. So I feel like I could Good. paint. Um, and I have a vision for what I want things to look like. I can buy carpets. I could buy decor, but don't ask me to hang anything. I just. <laughs> And then speaking of in the same topic of drilling, again, this is totally going to, you know, shed light on whether or not my husband listens to the podcast. He, I asked him to hang something for me in the garage. And um, this is like three weeks ago. And he went into the garage before he left and he was like, the wall is molded. I was like, what? He said, yeah, our garage wall is like black mold. And I was like, there shouldn't be any water in there. So he ended up cutting out the mold and came to find out that when he drilled the hole a couple weeks ago to hang whatever he had to hang in the garage for me, he went right through a drain pipe. (laughs) How'd you fix it? He had to call the plumber. It was so funny because he called dad. Dad was away. And he's like, Rick, what do I do? And dad's like, all right, here's what you got to do. You go to Home Depot, you get this and you do that and you get a saw and you cut this and it goes through this whole spiel. And then David's like, I'm just going to call the plumber. (laughs) (laughs) Funny, so he called the plumber. <laughs> the guy fixed it, and that's my story. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dietriches are just not good at drilling holes in walls. <laughs> you're, you're learning. You guys are learning. learning. Yeah. Yeah. 
or learn. Have to start somewhere. somewhere. Yes. So when you guys come, I'm going to give you the task and we're, we'll play a little game. You're going to see if you can find the hole. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Courtney, put the hole and see if you can sure find it's it. It's not bad. <laughs> I do it's like fun. the orange curtains. You do? I had I was uh, FaceTiming with her. I called you too, Mom. You can pick up. Um, oh, I did see that. Yeah. yeah. After. I'm trying to get the idea of how I wanted to do it. Mama yeah. decided and Brittany, Brittany approved. So Okay. I can't yeah. wait to see it. You know, I talked to Kai for like 20 minutes. I know. I couldn't find him. Oh, he he grabbed your phone and he had this maniacal, maniacal, ha, 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 ha. and then he ran off and you can just see the phone jiggling and you see parts of his face and he ran upstairs. He showed me every toy and every toy that made a noise, he would play for me and I would repeat the noise back and he'd ha 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 and he'd play the next one. Sounds fun. Very nice. That's yeah, cool. I was wondering who it was and then I was like, God, I bring me my phone and you were still there. So yeah, we were hanging out. We were hanging out. It's good stuff. He's funny. He is. Okay, let's see. Something else I have to share that was fun. I did uh, a finished Caroline's Fuel series, which How Courtney should be starting with your arm. <clears throat> yes, I should. Well, there's there's literally two, three workouts that I was not able to finish because they require like doing a bicep curl, and I still can't do that. But I've done everything else. Thirty workouts. I've done twenty seven workouts. And I'm proud. I started proud. the Iron Series. And that is also pretty good. I got some new weights. I have 25 pound and 15 pound weights now. So building up. I actually yeah, did I do half of the Iron Series because she did that yeah. months ago, a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did do, ha- I didn't finish it, but I did half of the Iron Series. That one's good. They're exactly, I think, 30 minutes long each one, too. Yeah. So I like that. And I think you're right. I think I like just the silence. But I do, I miss with Sydney's, like, she would be like, okay, make sure you don't do this with your body, try it like this, and you want to make sure it doesn't feel like that, and, and she would kind of explain some things, but now that I'm more comfortable doing all the moves, I don't necessarily need it, but she does a couple of moves that I haven't done before, and I'm like, I'm not quite sure. She like, tends she to does... explain some things in the very beginning, and then she has, the, the, only pro- beginning. the only problem is that, like, she'll do captions throughout her video, but, like, mm-hmm. if you're in the middle of working out, you're not looking at the video to see her captions. Like she'll, It'll be like, Caroline's yeah. tip. When you're doing this exercise, keep your back yeah. straight, whatever. But I'm in the middle of a rep. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking at the screen. So yeah. you miss yeah. it. But, yeah. Like, you know how you have, like, the arm flies? Yeah. You know? She, yeah. like, bends all the way completely flat over. And I thought you could just keep, like, a 45-degree angle with your back. But she's, like, completely flat. Yeah. Yeah. I have a way that I do it where I just stand up and I, like – take my fingers, put them on my hips and like push my hips back. I know it's a weird thing, mm-hmm. but it's like my, my cue to like make sure my body's in the right position. Yeah. I'm not just like, like leaning it's forward. It's like an RDL position. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. But yeah. What's your face, mom? I'm just face. listening to you guys. <laughs> I, th- I think I love doing Romanian deadlifts. I love, I think we talked about this before. It was in your blog post, actually. Uh, what our favorite and least favorite body parts to work out are. I love doing, but workouts and legs and then I like shoulders and back those are my favorites those are definitely I would agree with that I just hate doing Bulgarian lunges oh my god I did that today I hate them I do them but I hate them. <laughs> I do them <laughs> yeah I do them. pistol squats you don't what's a pistol squat so it's basically just squatting like um you could put a a box step or just the bench and you have one leg up and you're basically squatting onto the bench. Mm. One leg, one leg off the floor and then squatting. And then, okay. right. Just sense. very hard with my left leg. Still very weak. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else have anything to share? Ma, we just talked a bunch. Do you have anything else to share? Well, I did get it wrong. The other day I said it was Lola's 17th birthday. Her birthday's today. Lola's 17 today. Aww, happy birthday, Lola. Wow, poor little girly. She's getting How's old. How's she doing? She's doing good. She hasn't peed that much. <laughs> she wears her diaper. Um, but she sleeps a lot, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
she's doing good. Um, I did complete this book. Is it backwards? Like, no. Can you guys Steal like what an artist. Is that? You didn't tell us about this. Steal like an artist. My manager at work actually gave us all gift cards to purchase this book on Amazon because he read it and he said it was really good. And actually, at the end of this book, it, it asks you to actually give it to somebody else now to read. But it's really, I liked it because it it um, sparked some like ideas that I want to do. It's very encourage. It's an encouraging book. Um, I'm interested. So I'll, have to give it to, I'll have to give it to one of you guys to read. It's yeah, and yeah. it's it's a quick read because it's like some of the pages. I mean, come on. Okay. Yeah. And it's about yeah, it's good. But I did finish that. It's like a hundred and sixty-four pages long. But I did finally finish a book. So I'm Ooh, proud nice. of that. Maybe when I come up, you can already have it to Courtney, and she'll already have read it, and then she can pass it to me. Yeah, well, along with my Caroline the workout. You're coming. <laughs> this, I think, I think I'm. If the land cable will work, I'll come this Sunday to like Thursday. Oh, okay, because I'm going away. Where are you going? She's not going though for like two more weeks. Okay. okay. The six, the sixteenth. Where yeah. are you going? Florida. That was another one of my accomplishments. We finally booked our flight to go to Florida for our real estate convention. Yay. Yeah. I really hope How's that's it going. Go ahead. Go talk. It's How's your real estate slowly, going? It's slowly going, but I have a feeling that we will, uh, cause I don't want to put it all on Steve, but I think it's going to reinvigorate him and encourage him to, you know, get moving. <laughs> So I think <laughs> I can't, like I said, I can't put it all on him because there are some, only certain things that he can do where he needs my help, like driving to look at properties. He can't drive. It's got to be me. Tell him right? to take an Uber. There's Ubers. <laughs> Uber. But I, I have a feeling by the end of the year, we'll definitely have a couple of deals either in the works or completed. Awesome. That's exciting. I'm excited about it. So you're leaving in two weeks? Yeah, the 16th. Okay. To so the 20th. After, after Emma's birthday party. Correct. That is okay. correct. I have to plan that. Yeah. Correct. Wait, real quick. Trivia question. <laughs> what U.S. states share a border with Mexico? Texas. California. New Mexico. One more. Louisiana? What is that one? No. Texas? New Mexico? I Alabama. Think... No. No. Not Arizona. It is Arizona. I didn't think it came that far down. I didn't either, actually. Yes, it does. Arizona. According to the trivia, it does. Arizona. Yeah. Oh, look at Arizona. that. Arizona. Pretty good with Arizona. capitals. Do you have any, have any uh, U.S. capitals questions? <laughs> Not at the moment. All right. Not at the moment. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, who was going? Sorry. How about Mom, the bad? Anything her. bad? Because Courtney, you said the good, the bad. No, bad I just meant. Uh, no, I just meant that you know we'll just share everything, not necessarily only the only the good. I guess a bad for me, it's um, hmm. I don't understand other people's work <laughs> ethic. <laughs> That's a that's like, a, to- a whole podcast topic. That's a whole podcast, but I'm, you know, in a position, Next I'm week. in a job and like attendance is an issue and just like dedication and just doing your job comes up often and it makes it very difficult for me to get my job complete. So now I'm like backed up and getting stressed out because there's so many things that I have to do extra now and it's just frustrating. If ever, like some of the things that happen, I'd be like, that would it would never be acceptable to me ever, period. Like, I don't know. I have to be, be careful what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't understand. Um, I have a very good work ethic, and I don't understand why everyone's work ethic is not the same as mine. Well, are people it. held accountable for, well, that's it. That's number one. So they'll just continue to yes. do it. Yeah. Number two, so. I think we've talked about this before, but people just try to do the bare minimum. Because it's permitted, and and mm-hmm. it also goes back to a, um, I think a self, a self pride. Like you should have pride in your work, regardless if you get 
you know, if somebody uh, acknowledges it or not, if you know what mm-hmm. I mean, like you're doing it because this is the best of who I am and I'm putting it into everything I do, whether or not you acknowledge mm-hmm. it, this is just me. But not everybody has that. Yes. Mm-hmm. That, yes. Mm-hmm. Some people are just, especially nowadays, the generation maybe right after us, I'll say, a lot of people <laughs> I've spoken to seem to have the mindset of, well, if, if you don't give me or compensate me or acknowledge me, I'm just, I don't even care. You know, I'm just going to do it and be done. There's no mm-hmm. drive really to, be scary. to be more. Well, everyone, I'm the youngest person that works there. Oh, then that's very odd. Yeah. That's it could be accountability odd. too. Sometimes that's a thing. So, yeah. yeah. It's a, I, I'm told it's a work in progress. Oh, well, you know, it's a growing company. You know, it's having growing pains. It's just, yep. it's frustrating. It is frustrating, but make sure you draw healthy boundaries because in my experience, the more you take on, if it gets done, then nothing is done yeah. to resolve it. Yep. Mm-hmm. No when it's not know. getting done and it's being vocalized by you, I cannot or this is too difficult or I won't be able to meet the deadline because then it tends mm-hmm. to move things on a little bit faster. Oh, I am very vocal. Well, then good. And you're set. Yeah. <laughs> you are set. I am quite vocal. We'll see what happens. That's that's my bad, my ugly, without being too ugly. I don't think I have a bad or ugly. It's just been very, like, exciting, um, encouraging, uplifting. Oh, Another thing, our floors are done. Yay! <laughs> our floors Yay! are done. Did you go with the same nice. color? No. No. It's so much brighter. Nice. Um, so much so that, you know, you walk down the hallway and just one little light, it the, ha- the, whole, ha- the whole hallway <laughs> is illuminated. Wow. Whereas before with the dark floors, like I thought my office light was on and it wasn't. It was just the light. And the hall on the um the, the hallway table was on. It's just it's so much brighter. You, you don't yeah. realize how something like that can can have an effect. So I am so happy about that. Yeah, I need to get on that level. I feel like I've lost my my drive. I mean, like when when I left teaching, I was like, I'm going to do all of these things. I'm going to do this and this and that. I'm going to start this. And I was doing all of these things, but now I found myself in the lull of being so bogged down with work and having to pick up other responsibilities to do all these things that I feel stuck a little. Like I've definitely, I don't do my morning routine anymore. Mm. I have like, you know, not been, I listen to a pot or, or I listen to an audible book when I walk sky every day, but I've not been doing like my meditation or, um, I've been not doing my affirmations, which is the easiest thing. Um, so I feel like I've lost my, like, my flow, my mojo. And I got to get back on that, like being creative again and finding, you know, the energy to want to do this versus just like hopping on my phone and just be like, you know, work sucked. I'm just going to get on my phone and waste my day away because I can. So I need to read, I need, I need your stuff, mom. I need, need the energy. I need the focus. Yep. It could just also be that your body and, and mind are telling you that you need rest. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not just, it's not you. It's, Mm -hmm. you know, your circumstances are are requiring a lot of you. There's nothing you can do about it and you need rest. So do make sure you do restful things. I think the thing that to be careful of too, though, is first of all, you're recognizing it. So that's a good sign. So as Courtney said, your body's probably just telling you, you need to rest. Your mind needs to rest. So you're just disengaging for a little bit. But the fact that you recognize it, just be very wary that you don't let too much time lapse before you pick it up again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I haven't dropped working out. You that is a good, I have not dropped working yeah. out, which is a benefit of working from home. Cause I always take a lunch break and I will always, you know, I work out during my lunch break and I'll go take sky for a, a walk. So that is nice. I still have the workout schedule, but I feel like, you know, we talked about this before having that, alone time in the morning before everything starts and meditating and reading and journaling and doing those affirmations. We talked about some previous podcasts. It just kind of gets your mind in the right mindset. It kind of lets you clear the air, kind of lets you focus and list things and do all of that. So I feel like, you know, I just, I just got to get back on the wagon. Yeah. You know, 
We'll check in with you next week and ask you how you're doing. Now that you've made us aware, if you remember, I will write it on my sticky note and put it on the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything they'd like to share? Um, we're talking about accomplishments. Yeah. All right, you talked about work. So I finally launched a program at work. Um, I'm really excited because I didn't realize this, but this program, it's called KCS, Knowledge Centered Service. It, my company's been doing it probably, actually, they told me it's been eight years that they've been doing it and they've never been successfully able to launch this program. So I just launched it this week. So I'm really excited about that. Yay. Wow. It's awesome for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, that's what hey. I'm saying. There's a lot of good and exciting things going on. It's just, I'll just throw them your way. So, I'll take them. I'll take them. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Hey. Oh, oh trivia friends. question. Uh-oh. What are the names of the five Great Lakes? I know this from Papa. Yep, I do too. Oh. I bet mom. Mom, do you know? Because I know we know it. Oh. <laughs> Michigan, Huron, Erie, uh, Ottawa mm. and close, not Ottawa. Huh? Not close. You're in the right Beautiful. region. Wait, I can see them. <laughs> <laughs> Same letter. Use Holmes, H O M E S. Oh, okay. So Huron. Let's skip the. Uh... <laughs> oh, Michigan. Mm hmm. Erie, Superior, on, on Ontario. Ontario. Oh, Ontario. Ontario. Oh, sorry. Uh, you were you, you, you could have helped Courtney. What? I said on. You could have said on. Could've, on. Could've, yeah, she's saying it to I you. I was saying it. And I was like, on, <laughs> get it, on. You knew the other ones. You didn't need me for the other four. Oh, you just on, yeah. needed it. I told you it was the right letter. Okay. Anyway. Good job, Mom, about that, though. I'm proud of you, of your launching of the program. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's, that's, awesome. really that's a big exciting. thing. You've been working towards that a long time, so. I you have. Just a year. And <laughs> actually, yesterday was a year, one year at my company. And yeah. a year that Courtney and David and family had moved into my house. Well, the first Monday, they actually moved in that Saturday. But it's already been a year. Wow. Yeah. Scary, right? Time's flying. And guys. look where you are. You're in your home. I it's know. To be it's been a heaven of a year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy how that's already a year. I can't even believe that. Yeah, it's like you forget, like not forget, but because it goes by so fast. Yeah, I ju- I had just left my you know teaching job. Yeah, a year ago. So, so scary. Time flies. It does. Yeah. We've done a lot, guys. We, we have. have done a lot. Yeah, we have. It's all right. Be. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to share? I don't think so. I'm quite sleepy. Okay. Well. <laughs> It was wonderful catching up with everybody. Mom or Court, would you guys like to do the closing remarks? Everyone's like, sure. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Because <laughs> mom's the closer. Right. That was another TV right. show. The closer. Yeah, the closer. So. That's yeah. what Kira, I think Sedgwick. Kira Sedgwick? Yes. Oh, real quick. Yes. Um, have you guys watched Seal Team on Amazon yes. Prime? Wow, well, oh I haven't been watched. I we are on season two. Oh, I haven't, I haven't yeah. watched seasons. I just watched episodes. I no, I, I just I was in the car with I Dad just, when you texted him. <laughs> He's like, who? And he was like, <laughs> we were at Chick Fil A actually. It was funny, and he was like, who died? <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, somebody's wife died. I don't know. <laughs> And then he started laughing. He's like, your sister's nuts. (laughs) But I just, I forgot how much, like, I had the biggest crush on David Boreanaz when I was younger. Yes. Because of Angel. Like, absolutely loved him. So I love that he's back in TV shows. He was amazing. You didn't watch Bones. I just, I didn't watch Bones. (sighs) Go watch Bones. But I feel like, I watched a little bit of Bones, but I feel like this version of him is more like, 
like the badass angel, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. versus whatever he did in Bones. What would he even do? Was he a doctor? He was a cop. Yeah. Oh, he was a cop. He that makes an FBI, sense. FBI agent. Mm. Okay. He worked, well, I love him. He worked with the scientist. Yes. What season are you on? <laughs> I am on two, but um, I, yeah, I already knew that that was going to happen because dad told me like a long time ago. <laughs> oh, about the wife? Yeah. I don't like her anyway. She's very unsupportive. <laughs> That's terrible. She knew she knew the life she was getting into. This is true. This is this true. This is true. This is true. Okay. And I'm on blacklist right now because even though I thought I, you were done with that. I was. Yeah, I and I can't am. stand her. I can't. And especially in this season I'm in, guys, in the season I'm in, which is season six, where she's trying to figure out his identity. And have you seen season six? Did you guys like or just skip ahead? I stopped at like season three. Like she got so annoying. Are you my father? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So the, basically the season that they're in is he, he's, she's trying to figure out who he really is and he's in jail. But her acting is just, it's it terrible. hurts my soul. I'm not yeah. an actress. I'm not an actress. I will never claim that I'm a great actress, but I can do better. Then her, and I don't know. See, you have to give her, cut her some slack because I think Megan Boot is pretty talented, and it could just be the writing. You know, sometimes you just get poor writing or whatever. Yeah. But it's like when she's talking, she she I, I, she's like, "You need to tell me now. Just tell me." I would be like, <laughs> "Mfr, you need to tell." Like she's just. <laughs> it's she's just, terrible. She's one of the. Re- she's like the biggest reason why I stopped. If watching you just that show. Google it, just Google. Um. Worst character on Blacklist. Every single person you notice me is like, Megan Boone kills no. it. Megan Boone or, you know, we hate Elizabeth no. Keene. Elizabeth yeah, Keene. Elizabeth Keene. At least Elizabeth, Elizabeth Keene, worst character in Blacklist, if not ever. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. It's bad and I feel bad because, you know, this is how this woman makes a living. So I don't want to like bash on Megan Boone because I think that, you know, it's probably not her. It's not her performance. It's got to be the char- the way the character was written. It's just. Here's one. Elizabeth Keene is the worst thing about this show. <laughs> this is so oh, true. Uh, and they so try true. to make, and it's funny because they constantly try to make her the, the hero. Like she's saving the day. And even when she saves the day, I'm like, just give me Reddington. Go away. Yes. <laughs> and the other thing, yeah. sorry, just one more quick thing. This chick spends two years, whatever, hating Raymond Reddington because he's a murderer. He's a this. And he paid off Tom to be in her life and this whole thing. The second she finds out he's her father, all is forgiven. And he's my father. Wait, he paid off her husband to be her husband? Did you not watch any of season one? She, that, that was season she one? Watched. <laughs> did, you, did you watch? Did you watch? Did you watch three seasons in three minutes? <laughs> did that happen in season one? Because I remember he ends up being like a, a bad guy, but is that what happened? I just don't remember. It was so long back, ago. Yeah, so he um, Reddington didn't pay him to marry her. Reddington paid her him to hired him to get close to her to keep an eye on her, and then he, he got married. Up, he ended up falling in love with her. My feelings are real. And uh, they got married, and then they got divorced, and then they got married again, and it's just like a whole oh my thing. god, I'm so glad I stopped watching it. I liked him though. I watched it for him. Yeah, I, liked, I, I like liked, him. I liked my husband Tom. He's definitely the icon of that show. And I like Dembe. Dembe. And I'm on the episode where Dembe leaves. Dembe. Well, I'm not going to be watching it, so I'm just reading these reviews on her. It's bad. I know. I feel so bad, but it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, it's and she terrible. left the show, so I, I don't know. And oh, she did? James Spader was on one of the Tonight shows, and he was like, we renewed for season 10. So apparently her leaving the show didn't affect anything because they <laughs> renewed for another season. <laughs> Wow. I feel okay. like it's very difficult to find a show that has like more than a couple of seasons and it still stays good. He, well, say, his yes. character, Raymond Reddington's character is brilliant. It's really a brilliantly written. I like him. I do like him. But like in yeah. any show period, like uh, have you seen that show where she like is covered in tattoos and they like yes, decipher I'm the tattoos? Yes, I'm watching that right now. Blind spot. What season are you on? That sounds like a memento. First Okay, well, this is not really going to ruin anything, but the first two seasons are phenomenal. Somehow, randomly in the third season, they find her entire body is covered in black light tattoos. Like, they solve every tattoo on her body, and now she has black light tattoos because someone decided to put a black light on. They're like, oh my god, what are all of these? Like, come on. (laughs) 
<laughs> get out of here. Be done with the show. Just end so I should a good stop show. after a season two. Yeah. But then you have shows like Supernatural that I feel like just went on so long. Not necessarily because the storyline was so good, but because you just fell in love with the characters and you didn't want to stop yeah. watching them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there were some things like about the storyline that you were like, wait, what? Why? Yeah. Why are we doing this? For what? What's like, happening? I don't understand. <laughs> but we fell in love with all the characters. They, they, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. so that kept the show going. But yeah. I like Raymond Reddington. I'll keep watching for him. It is taking me on a bit of a roller coaster right now because, like, he's her father. He's not. Who is he? He's this guy, but he's not. But who's and it's but you like, already know who he is. I know who he is because I googled it. Yeah. <laughs> but when they're telling the story, it's quite like dynamic. Confusing captivating it is it's dynamic because there are you know, little secrets here and there but she's just i'm so mad at you oh i love you thank you i'm so mad at you how could you oh i love you you're the best it's like that's writing that's the writing though she's yeah she's like all over the place so. <laughs> all right well we went off on a beautiful tangent there sorry <laughs> not me are you my ready throat. to, to I close this out for the evening i am the, oh Sorry, guys. Thank you so much um, for taking the time to be with us tonight. Please continue to support us by subscribing to our podcast as well as reading us on Apple and Spotify. Don't forget to rate us. Our ratings are a bit low now, guys. Get on it. If you love this episode, <laughs> follow. Just follow. Just tell all of your people. You don't have to listen to us. Just tell your friends find, about me. Tell everybody to find Wayward Glasses on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and just follow. That's it. Hard. That's it. Not that hard. You can even you can even silence notifications for us. Just follow us. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we got some good stuff. Good, good content. Follow us. You won't be sorry. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag us at wayward underscore lasses. And if you're not following us, I think I covered this already, but you need to. Yes. Come on, guys. Boo, 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 boo. Yes. You definitely need to follow us so you can stay up to date on the tips and tricks and short stories that we share. Or you could just send us some love on our Facebook. Wayward Lasses Facebook community. That is a mouthful. We should change that. That's a lot to say. Anyway, <laughs> don't forget if there's a topic you'd love for us to cover, email us at waywardlasses at gmail.com and visit our website, www.waywardlasses.com. There's lots of good stuff on there. Mom's killing it with the blog. Tons of resources on there. Or if you just want to see, you know, our beautiful faces again after watching us, you could just our pictures are on there. There's lots of good stuff on there. So just, you know. Just check it out. Um, <laughs> and and I th- oh, we still have our store. We have any new items in the store, Britt? Not yet. All right. Well, so on my list of things that I would love to eventually, con- uh, you know, you would not need new stuff. There's lots of good stuff on there. So check out the website. And I turn it over to the closer, mother. Yes. Well, before she does that, one Ooh. more trivia question. Oh, what is what is the name of the deepest point in Earth's oceans? The mantle? Depths of darkness. <laughs> Mariana Trench. Oh, oh, oops. Well, I had the right letter. Mariana? Yeah, Mariana's in, Trench. So it's the deepest Mariana? trench. What do you think it's like the deepest deep? part of the ocean. Can you imagine what lives down there? Scary. No, thing. I cannot. Scary aliens. things live down there. Yeah. Did you say Indians? Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> probably that's probably where they went. They were definitely here. They went under the ocean. What's that movie, Ma? With the alien ocean under alien city under the ocean, with Ed Um, Harris. Yes, and Master Antonio. Uh, Abyss. 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 Have you seen? Ah, I just was in there. It was on the tip of my tongue. I had. I just needed to. I needed to massage my head. Great movie. I see it. I feel it. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Anyway. Anyways. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you again so much for joining us today, tonight, whatever time zone you're in. Until next time, we are the Wayward Lasses reminding you to keep, keep it real. real guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Stay classy. San Diego. <laughs> what did you say? San Diego. A, a whale's vagina. <laughs> She's like, no, that's not real. Right. That's not what that means. <laughs> oh, okay. You got me. Okay. Uh, we should watch that one. I- Thank you.